just as much as it is for us here. And uh, one thing I've learned over the years is uh, our FFRC nation is a mighty, mighty, mighty fine group of people. And uh, the compassion and the love and um, the kindness that you all have is simply amazing to me. And I lean on that a lot. So I just want you to know that I appreciate you all. So Encore Lee, I know there's a lot of questions um, being asked. So one thing I, I didn't mention yesterday is uh, there's a uh, Okay, there's a um, little bit more involved than just a little tumor, a little growth. This growth that she has, this mass, is not small, folks. Um, if it was, it might make the whole thing a lot easier. Um, and I just, I couldn't mention that yesterday, but it's very large. Dr. P and Dr. Darcy both measured it, and it's it literally fills up her whole neck and puts extreme pressure on the trachea and the esophagus. So you gotta have your trachea to breathe. You gotta have your esophagus to eat. So that's also why she's a little bit um, um, pale in her goons. Um, just as much, if not more, a problem is that if you can imagine her trachea being like your little finger and all the food shoots, or the esophagus and all the shoot, food shoots down there, easy peasy. But when that thing is crumped so hard with this big mass, um, very little can get down. And you might have seen what happened to her this morning. So I talked to Dr. Darcy, and she's also going, she's conferring with a, another vet again today about this, but um, this is probably not something that's going to be able to be operated on. But we are hoping to shrink it a little bit. And um, we've already started those medicines to try to shrink it. The hard part is uh, we cannot insert a um, feeding tube right now. Um, but she's hungry. You've all seen how when she gets near a bowl, she wants to go eat. And because she's hungry, she eats way more than what can go down that tiny bit of uh, canal that's left. And so it... It's like a um, gagging it up. It's not vomiting. It's gagging it up. And so all day since actually last night, um, we've been able to keep giving her. Uh, it's only one cc. This is one cc. That's not very much. <laughs> um, it's not very much. Um, but we can. If I give that to her every 45 minutes, she is not vomiting or regurgitating, gagging that back up. But I cannot pick up all the food everywhere around here because all the other cats do need it. And I'm not gonna put her in a room by herself. She doesn't want to. I tried it earlier and she came right back to the door and looked at me like, why am I in here? So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna cause stress on her. So she may get access to the food once in a while, and because of her hunger, she does eat it, and then it comes up. So um, it's a little bit of a dilemma. And that's that's right, Jabber. That's what I told her a little bit ago. You, you do what you want to do. If you want to go sleep for two hours, fine. If you want to eat, you go eat. If you cough it up or gag it up, no big deal. We'll clean it up for you. So um, the one good thing is this is not painful. <laughs> it's not painful to her, but it's painful to us, isn't it? Yeah, and she's too young yet. She's so young. I guess this also teaches us, not teaches us, but as a reminder to everybody, 
to cherish your pets? Because you never know. Um, we began suspecting this tumor, this mass, about 10 days ago. And we had, to, not you and me had talked about it, but um, I had talked about it with our doctor. And I think I told you, um, they had went through uh, uh, a COVID problem. Um, they did have COVID there, so they did shut down for two weeks. Today's their first day back, but they did get us in yesterday. Thank you, Kat. Um, so we couldn't take her in sooner for diagnostics. And you know what? It wouldn't have changed the doggone thing. Yeah, it wouldn't have changed it. Isn't it remarkable, um, the way of a cat? Um, it's also, it's, it's awesome, and yet it's a hindrance sometimes, too, the way cats are. You know, they hide their symptoms, and so we don't always know, you know. I, I was very suspicious, but not to the degree of how big that mass is. Um, we did not know that, how big it was. Um, but on the other hand, cats are, as we all know, awesome healers. Um, <clears throat> if they're able to be healed, a cat's going to do it. Yeah, I figured out this morning, there's a, hope is a whole lot better feeling than despair, isn't it? Oh, she's being spoiled rottener than rotten. Yeah, she's on my desk again right now. I've had to be at my desk quite a bit today, and she's been with me most of the morning. <laughs> even more, even more rottener. Yep. And you know, I, I've told you guys this before, we and the cats feel your love through that cam. I don't know how it is, but it's, it's true. It's true. So, um, if you have any other questions, just pop it up there. And um, we do have a family coming tomorrow to adopt um, oh my gosh, my brain is pickled. Oh, it, to adopt, oh, this is awesome. To adopt Lou Beth. This little girl came in yesterday. She was kind of hoping for a kitty, but she loves Lou Beth, and Lou Beth was all over her. It was so wonderful. You're very, very welcome. I will. I, I've been passing her lots of hugs today. And kisses from you all. Um, we also have a fella coming back Thursday at 9.30, I believe. He and his wife are going to come back, and they're going to try to figure out whether they want to adopt um, Kaz or if they want to adopt Bamboo. So it's a hard decision. Uh, we did not do a biopsy, JMU, on it, mainly because um, <clears throat> at this point, it doesn't really matter. It's obviously is something that's growing at a very large speed, so probably, but it doesn't change the course of the action, of the treatment. <laughs> that's what I said, you bet. <laughs> good um, I've got a meeting over in Paul Mart here thank you guys for for who you all are I appreciate it you know I'm gonna say one thing else I want to just say one more thing so when things are said on Facebook for us concerning the anything here, always, 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 always make sure that it's the truth and that what really is said is the truth. And you know what kind of sad is when something has been said that is not how it was really 
happened, how it really happened. And some people like to jump on it and make it into a bigger mountain than it ever, ever was supposed to be. So it just reminds you again, speaketh the truth, be honest, don't feed into more things than what anything was meant to be. Thank you, crazy. Thank you, Vince. Appreciate that. Yeah, we love our kitties, don't we? We'll give you some updates on some cats probably tomorrow. But all's well. All right, thanks, folks. What you want? Here, hang on. 